we had such a tough team. Like we had probably nine, ten guy, guys who could drop the gloves and and, and fight. Thorny, and, and it was Milan, just, him, yeah, like, it's, it everyone. Was, it was just crazy. Like I remember we had a game, and that was in 2011. It was uh, I, I I can tell you exactly the game it was a February 3rd, 2011. We played Dallas Stars. And, you know, like it was just this, everybody was trying to beat us in different ways. They tried to beat us with speed. We beat them. They tried to beat us with, uh, you know, some sort of trap. We beat them. We, they tried to beat us with size. We beat them. And I remember Dallas Stars came February uh, 3rd uh, in Boston and they dressed up every tough guy they had. And sure enough, opening face off, puck drop, fight. So we had, uh, <laughs> It was like two seconds in the game. It was a fight. Gregory Campbell fought Steve Ott. After that, back to the center ice, puck drop, fight number two. Sean Thornton fought Chris Barch, their toughest guy. Broke his cheekbone. End up, that guy ended up in, in a hospital. Super tough guy, but ended up being in a hospital. And Tori actually took easy on him. You know, in, late in a fight. He was just, he saw that he was actually like hurting him. Next, face off. Puck drop, we scored. So imagine this, like first minute of the game, there's two fights, we scored a goal. Okay, back to the center ice, puck drop. Another guy came out, challenged Adam McQuaid. He TKO'd that guy. <laughs> so now you have minute and a half in the game, three fights, one nothing. Okay, back to the center ice, puck drop, we scored. So imagine this, in the first two minutes, there was like three fights, and we were up to nothing. The garden was like crazy. It was like a zoo. I'd never seen anything like it. And then we look over to the Dallas Stars bench and they had nobody else left. And it was like, Luch hasn't fought. Uh, myself hasn't fought. I, it was just like, we had a lot of three, four guys who didn't fought and they had nobody, no one else. And we were up to nothing. And I think we scored out shortly after that. Andrew France fought again. Uh, Sean Avery, I believe. So that Fucking if Sean. somebody came literally, if somebody came like three minutes late to the game, he would like miss the whole thing. And it was like <laughs> it was crazy. I I and that game for me, it was a such a strong message and statement to the league that we were actually like really, really like setting a, a, a standard for us to be like a team that you couldn't beat any any way you you tried to beat us and we were just like we find a way to like respond so that's how uh, how I, I would re- describe that 2011 team i would i would say it, i didn't win a super bowl yet you guys won a super bowl before i was there cuz it was that was like the previous patriots that won earlier in the earlier 2000s like when once they won and like that's when we started feeling the heat. It's so crazy that you feel wow. the heat because everyone's winning championships in Boston and it motivates other teams, you know? And I yeah. used to hang out with a bunch with these guys. I'd hang out with Thority and Sagan and Milan and we would, you know, they were just such a close group of guys and Brad Marchand. Like it was like something that you looked at from afar. If you weren't part of that team, like, that's what you have to do. You have to be like these guys because they were like, they all had each other's back. They all got along. There was, you know, there's shit here and there, but that's team. That's, that's how you go out and win championships. But so, you know what, Jules, like, sorry to interrupt, but we were also like, we were so close to, to each other. And, but we also made it, um, we had a meeting. I remember we had a meeting and that was quite early in the season. And we said, because we needed to change things up and, and just really push ourselves to be better. And we actually made it, made it a, a kind of, as you want to call it, promise or, or, or rule that we would be holding each other accountable. Like regardless of who it is, what status or how many games and who you are, it was just like if you didn't bring your A game and you didn't play your best, you would get called out. And that's, as you know, that's the worst thing you can get to be called out by your teammate instead of coach, right? Like coach, that's his job. But if, if your teammate gets on you, that's actually, you know, quite embarrassing. So we made it such a clear uh, a, a message that, that it was like everybody, 
when the game came on, like we were just ready and everybody played their best because we just didn't feel any any offense. Uh, we didn't feel like we didn't feel like offended or or kind of like hard feelings if somebody said something to you because you were like, okay, like I better I better like start like pulling you know pulling the same same robe as everybody else. Like I got it, I got to do my my job. Like and that really made a difference because we we really started to play like absolutely our best for each other and, and every game. 